Mr. Castle, looks like you have quite the rap sheet for a best-selling author. A couple of drunken disorderlies disturbing the peace. Boys will be boys. It says here you stole a police horse. Borrowed. And you were naked at the time? It was spring. And every time the charges were dropped. What can I say? Mez affair. But I'll be happy to let you spank me if it makes you feel better. Mr. Castle, this bad boy charm that you've got going on might work for your celebutants and bimbets. Me, I work for a living and that makes you one of two things to me. The guy who makes my life easier or the guy who makes my life harder. And let me assure you, you do not want to be the guy who makes my life harder. Alison Tisdale, daughter of real estate mogul Jonathan Tisdale. She's cute. She's dead. You guys ever meet? Charity event? Book signing? It's possible. But she's not in my little black book, if that's what you're asking. How about this guy? Martin Fisk, small claims lawyer. Most of my claims tend to be on the large side. This is how we found him. Right out of the pages of one of your books. Looks like I have a fan. A really deranged fan? You don't look deranged to me. What? I'm pretty well versed in psychopathic methodologies. Occupational has it. You have beautiful eyes. So you'd have no objection to us going through your mail? Knock yourself out. You don't mind if I borrow these, do you? People are dead, Mr. Castle. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I'm not asking for their bodies. Just the photos. I think we're done here. Gwenny, I'm sorry. I don't... You want to know how I feel, Gwen? How I've always felt around you? Small. You have this way. You know, that mum thing. That amazing gravitational force. You know, even when she was a mess, the whole world noticed her. You have that. And I guess I figured you always knew that. I don't know. When I went home, I started thinking that maybe you didn't know that. About yourself, I mean. You know who should have told you. Not me. All I ever told you was what a pain in the ass you were. Well, I am a pain in the ass. Yes, but even a pain in the ass needs someone to take care of them. I didn't do that. I didn't, and I should have. I should have helped you with your homework, or walked you home after school. I remember walking home with my friends and seeing you up ahead, all alone. You were so little. Well, so are you. Yeah. And I never asked for help. Yeah, but you needed it, didn't you? Everyone does. Lying between the islands of Syros, Paros and Naxos in the beautiful Aegean lies the island of Mykonos also known as the Island of Winds. Mykonos, yes, it has mm. to be on a list. Sarah went there on her gap year after school. Yeah, I know, I saw her photos on Facebook. Isn't this amazing? Oh, that is so stunning. <gasps> Look at that view. Oh, is it expensive? There's a YHA nearby, and I think it's pretty reasonable. Plus, with the state of the Greek economy, it's probably better against our exchange rate. Mm, these restaurants look amazing. My mum's best friend was Greek-born, and we used to go around to her place at Greek Easter. Her cooking was amazing. Mm. Lots of olives and eggplant. I love that Greek lasagna dish. Moussaka. Moussaka, oh, yes. It is great. Oh. And their seafood is amazing, oh. too. It's funny how a country can be defined by its food. Oh, I'm hungry. Me, too. <laughs> I can't wait, this is going to be so great. It feels like we've been planning it for ages. I know, I can't believe that it's finally happening. How about Italy? Italy would be amazing. It would be amazing to be someone with so much history. And the art. And the food. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, me too. Gelato! <laughs>